My name is Laura May, and I am a proud supporter of the Ottawa Food Bank. Uh, I grew up in a pretty typical middle-class family. I had horseback riding lessons and camp and music lessons and just a typical normal childhood, but there was also a lot of abuse. And eventually it came to a point where I couldn't take it anymore, it was getting too much. And I told a teacher at school who was obliged by law to phone the police. I was given a few options and one of them was to return back to the situation I was in or go to a shelter or go live with a friend. So I left the police station with the clothes on my back and went to a friend's house. So very few options and really sort of stepped into poverty without even realizing it. About a year and a half into that situation, I was very fortunate and I landed in social housing, which is a huge thing. Um, and then I was able to quit my job and go on student welfare and go back to high school, but also went on to do a BA and then a master's degree. And during that time, I was fortunate that I had a housing worker who told me about food banks and that there was one in my community and that I could go, you know, once a month and get enough food for three days. In the food bank, you know, I was, I was afraid to go. Um, there's a real stigma around it. You know, are they going to give you food you don't like? Um, you're going to have to take what they give you and if you don't, you seem like an ingrate. Are they going to judge me as I walk through the door? There are all these questions going on and, you know, you know, of course I walk in and it's completely the opposite and people are just there to help you and you feel very welcome. They gave me enough food for three days and invited me to come back. You never forget what it's like to be hungry. I mean, I can't, I can't state that often enough. You, you never forget what it's like to be hungry. And so you see the baskets at the supermarket and you see the campaign for Thanksgiving or for Easter or for Christmas. And, you know, I would go and there's a volunteer gives you a bag and you fill it up and you put it in the, in the basket and you know that there's going to be a food drive. But then I was listening to the radio. It was Christmas 2013 and the food bank was falling short of its monetary target that year. And one of the things I was listening to the radio and I heard that <laughs> this still blows my mind, for every dollar cash that is donated, it's $5 worth of buying power for the food bank. And there are two things about that. One, it makes my dollar go further. But two, the food bank is able to take a look at what they have in their inventory and decide what it is that they actually need. And they could put the money towards something that is a gap in what they want to offer the clients who use the community food banks. I am so excited about this new program with the, with the farmers and the farm and providing fresh produce because that, when I was using a food bank 20 years ago, just didn't exist. And people are generous and we live in a wonderful community and I'm really proud to be a part of that. And giving people healthier food will just take them further and help them further and help them no longer need the food bank and be able to give back to the food bank someday. The hardest thing is taking the first step and asking for help, but I promise you, we live in a community where people want to help each other and there is no judgment and there is no stigma. 